What's up everybody? Big Herc916 and you tuned in to another edition of my vlog. I want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel, for supporting the channel, making it what it is. And uh, you know I'm all about the positivity and motivation. So share it with your friends and family. And I want to talk about some of the comments I get when I post different videos up. I posted a video about sitting at the table and somebody was saying, I don't want to be at the table if you got to sell out, and, you know, do all this stuff that goes against whatever you believe in to succeed. And then somebody else said, oh, it sounds like you're a supporter of the establishment that keeps everybody oppressed and blah, blah, blah. Well, <laughs> Let me tell you something. When I was talking about sitting at the table, I'm talking about creating your own table with your own set of rules around your, your own group of friends that all have the same like-minded beliefs because we don't all believe in the same shit. We don't all have the same uh, intentions. And I've said it many times before, just because a person looks like you doesn't mean that they're on the same path you're on. A lot of these people come in and infiltrate and their whole objective is to break you down, to steal your life force, take away your positive energy. No, when I say sitting at the table, I'm saying create your own table with your own set of rules. And whatever those rules are, as long as you're not hurting nobody, then hey, more power to you. I believe everybody should have a high level of success. And if you don't want certain things in life, then hey, man, live your life. I, I mean, I have nothing against somebody who's content with just, you know, surviving and paying their bills and having a little family. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not against that, but I'm not a socialist. I don't think everybody should have the same wage. Everybody should have equal pay. I don't believe in that. You know, I'm a capitalist. Plain and simple. You work hard, you get rewarded for that work. You don't work, then you don't get rewarded for it. You know, and I've worked for less than, you know, 10 cents an hour. So don't tell me about, you know, oppressing people. I've been in places where there is no, there is no windows. It's cold. You're hungry. You know, you got to take a poop and you got to hold it. You're constipated, you're shackled, you're, you're, you're chastised, you're laughed at, you're humiliated, you know, you're made to feel worthless. So don't tell me about oppressing people and all that crybaby stuff, man. I don't want to hear it because I don't, I'm not claiming to be a victim. I'm not, you know, crying because I can't pay my bills and, and, and talking about how the system's oppressing me. No, I'm out here getting it, man. I'm out here sharing positivity. I'm out here trying to help other people who maybe might be be down emotionally and they watch a video and they feel up. That's what I'm about. And just because I have a high level of, you know, standards for myself, then that's just what it is, man. You know, I've always been a... a somebody who who you know reads things of just a the next level whether it be fortune forbes you know rob report dupont register i've always had a very high standards and i remember guys used to get mad at me why you keep looking at the the rob report and the dupont you're not going to get out of prison and live there or have that kind of house or drive that kind of car man you should just get out there and get a job big herc you know you I'm telling you, you're gonna set yourself up. Set myself up? No. What I'm gonna do is get the hell away from you because you're not on my level. You know? I'm gonna I'm keep my distance and know that you're a hater and that I gotta be conscious of you trying to take away my chi. And that's what that's about. But I don't knock the person who's the hard worker, the person who puts in the hours. Hey, God bless you. You're taking care of your family. You're doing what you got to do. And that's what you should be doing. 
I'm doing what I gotta do. I'm taking care of my family, but I just keep pushing forward. And I do have happiness. I'm not miserable. I'm not like I'm complaining. You know, people say, oh, you're not enjoying anything. You're always trying to get more. Well, life is about progress, but along the way, believe me, I'm enjoying my life. I'm doing a lot of things that I dreamed about when I was locked up and I'm very happy. I'm very blessed to have the things I do have to be able to drive, you know, nice car, you know, eat steaks when I want to, have a nice house. And, uh, you know, I'm blessed. I've got a beautiful wife, you know, who handles business. But um, I'm not resting on my laurels. I'm not, you know, uh, just complacent in my actions. I'm always trying to get it. I'm always looking for the next opportunity, man. I love the hustle. I love the the challenge of of making myself work harder. You know, be more creative, come up with new ideas. That's what I'm about. But um, I don't believe that everybody should be, you know, as far as compensated the same. I believe in the hustle. I believe you should get compensated accordingly. I know there's people who have things that they got through uh, Machiavellian methods that they're still prospering from things that they've exploited over the years, their ancestors. And man, it is what it is, man. You know, I can't go back in time and change it. You know, if I had a machine, then I would put my family in a better position through opportunities so that they could be more successful. But I gotta just recognize the game and, and try to move forward. But um, there's no need in me focusing on the negativity and you know the hate. Those are bad energies. Those energies are keeping me from seeing opportunities that run right in front of my face. So I don't, I don't point the finger, man. I don't point the finger. And sometimes you got to just let go and in order when you let go, you move forward. You know, you take off those, those spiritual chains drop and you can now go about achieving your next accomplishment. But, um, just sharing with you guys, man. Like I said, I don't knock the next man's hustle. And, uh, I'm not all, everybody's like, oh, you're just, you're always talking about money. Well, you know, I talk about spirituality, happiness, mental elevation, loving thyself, but I, I like money. You know, money allows me to travel, allows me to pay my health insurance, allows me to take care of the bills at the house, allows me to help my family, create opportunities for my friends. So I'm always looking to make more, you know? I'm not mad at Jeff Bezos or Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk. I'm not mad at none of those guys. I think it's great. It inspires me. But if you don't like those people, then hey, I don't know what to tell you. That's your own problem. It's not mine. I'm going to keep chasing it. Actually, I'm not chasing. I'm going to create it. Chasing when you're trying to get something that you think you can't catch. I'm actually creating. I'm creating my own wealth, my own success, my own positive movement. So don't chase money, create money. Be about it. Big Kirk 916.